Hello YouTubes, my name is Drew. Welcome back to episode 15 of our Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. Here, we're playing through the amazing game of Minecraft in a relaxing, fun, and cinematic way. To catch you up so far, we found an amazing village in episode 2 and we made it our home. And we've been gradually expanding and improving it as we go. We found a vast cave system and mineshaft below the village, which has already provided many adventures, dangers, and treasures. We ventured away from the village to explore a dangerous jungle temple in episode 9 and to raid a pillager outpost in episode 11. In the last episode, we built an area for chickens, a large villager home, and we found our first diamonds of the series. In today's episode, we move our horse from his plain old fenced-in field to a beautiful horse stable. Then we build a stunning diagonal bridge near our fishing dock. If you're new here, welcome! And if you enjoy high quality, cinematic, and chill Minecraft videos, go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out. Also, check the description for a link to Twitch if you want to catch live streams, and a link to the community Discord server if you want to connect and play Minecraft with me and other people who are enjoying this content. Okay, let's jump into it. In episode 13, we found a saddle fishing, and right away we went off to tame our first horse of the series. We built him a temporary field, but I think it's time to make him a proper home. I want a horse stable that has a covered area as well as a yard area, and I want it to be close to the house so we can easily saddle up when we want to go out adventuring. So how about if we build it right here next to our mine entrance with a roofed area that is built into the hillside. I don't want to make it any taller than the hill, but this is looking a bit too low for me, so what if we dig down one block and make a sunken floor? Yeah, that'll work well. Hmm, I don't really want that hanging down. I guess I'll put it a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. So that's the face. Now the next step would be to figure out how I want to do the roof on this. I think I'll use a mixture of spruce and oak for this build. Okay, so that's the roof line. Now the next step is to build back into the hill with the roof and dig out the inside area. Yeah, I like the general shape we have going on here and I think the sunken floor makes it feel really cozy right up against the hill. Next, let's work on the interior. I think it needs some kind of siding on the inside walls, and this might be another perfect job for spruce trap doors. It's feeling a bit too closed off in here like a cave, so how about we replace some of these spruce trap doors with oak trap doors, which kind of look like windows. Wow, what do you think guys? I put a few more oak trap doors on the top and back to let in more light and to make this table feel a bit more open. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I always like moving these paths one block back so that the stairs going up the path is kind of cut into the hillside. Okay, we're getting really close. I'm just gonna do some decorating of the inside area and kind of the surrounding. 
Maybe some flowers, some bushes, stuff like that. I think it just really finishes off a build and makes it look really nice. It's the final details that just really make a build great, I think. Okay, I think it's looking really nice. Um, let's see, I actually wanna remove these, but other than that, I think we're ready. Let's get the horse and move him into his new home. It's time for a serious upgrade, man. All right, guys, I think that looks really nice. I think he loves it. He's got a cozy indoor area and an outside yard area. So let's go remove the fence from the old field and move on to the next project. The second project for today is a bridge over the river near our fishing dock. And one thing special about this bridge is that I wanna to try to make it on a diagonal. We almost always build in straight lines in Minecraft because of the way the blocks work, but it's fun every once in a while to try to mix it up and build something diagonally. So let's give it a shot. The bridge will have four pillars on each end to serve as its foundation. I like to put the pillars right on the edge of the water and slightly in the water. Man, building diagonally is so tricky. I feel like it takes my brain 10 times longer to figure out what I'm trying to do. For the wood in this build, I'll be using mostly spruce, spruce planks and spruce fences and then some birch as well to give kind of a nice highlighted light color. The pillars that are closer to the center of the river are the same, they're just one block taller. Okay, that's the start of one side. Now I'll switch over to a time lapse so you can see how the bridge takes shape. Guys, the bridge is looking awesome, but I ran out of spruce to finish the bridge's siding, so I need to go quickly harvest another mega spruce tree.
Okay, I got a bunch more spruce wood. Time to make some fences and put the finishing touches on the bridge. And after adding the lanterns as a final touch, our diagonal bridge is completed. What do you think? Hmm, I wonder if a boat can still fit underneath. Let's head over to the dock from episode 13 and try it out. For some reason, I think because the shaders I'm using, the boat always looks like it's filled with water and about to sink. Amazing. Okay, perfect. A boat can fit under the bridge. I didn't really feel like trying to raise the whole thing by one block. You may have noticed that our bridge comes into the village and sort of hits directly into a hillside. So let's do some terraforming and make the bridge connect to a really nice village pathway. And with that final detail, that is a wrap on episode 15. If you enjoyed yourself, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Also check the description for links to the community discord server if you'd like to connect and play with me and other people who enjoy this channel. And finally, if you're interested in watching the live streams, check the description for a link to follow me on Twitch. And as always, thanks for watching.